Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Libric. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory ca cable from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Majesty being granted the Pioneership Award for the Care of Orphans in the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OEOC, states. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in congratulating His Majesty on receiving the award, which comes in appreciation for his leading role in the field of sponsoring orphans nationally and internationally, as well as his continuous contributions to provide humanitarian services. She hailed His Majesty's vision and wise directives to improve the status of orphans and protecting their families and social rights, as well as to develop developmental programs that support them and enable them to contribute to national growth, wishing His Majesty success in taking this humanitarian responsibility. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, in reply to His Royal Highness's cable of condolences over the Saudi servicemen who lost their lives in a crash of a helicopter while performing their duty as part of the Arab coalition in support of legitimacy in Yemen. The custodian of the two holy mosques expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keen sentiments, wishing him a Abundant health. His Royal Highness also received two similar cables from the Saudi Crown Prince, Prime Minister, and Minister of Interior, Prince Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Prime Minister, and the Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, where they expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his noble sentiments, wishing him abundant health. Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received at the General Command today the Commander of the United States Central Command, General Joseph Vuttel, and his accompanying delegation. Also present was Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma. The meeting reviewed relations of cooperation and friendship between the two countries and ways of further enhancing them, especially in the military and defense fields. Following the meeting, the BDF Commander-in-Chief held a lunch banquet for the American officials. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan to inaugurate the 15th International Conference on Sustainable Development under the patronage of His Royal Highness. Ahliya University in cooperation with the World Association for Sustainable Development, the WASD, in the United Kingdom stages the event scheduled to be held on the 16th till the 18th of May under the theme a Digital Revolution. Experts and researchers from 20 countries participate in the event to discuss the digital revolution of information systems, politics, of smart cities, as well as government and private sector performance improvement. In a statement, the Labour Minister said His Royal Highness the Premier's patronage reflects his interest in attaining a, the optimum investment in digital technology and knowledge economy to attract investments to diversify sources of income or achieving objectives of sustainable development in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The minister added that electing Bahrain by the WASD to host the conference for the second time mirrors its reputation earning as an international event organizer in addition to the government's interest in sustainable development at various levels. He pointed out the vital role of digital technology in leading global econo economies and the keenness of Bahrain's government to adopt many initiatives to establish an integrated technological system and electronic infrastructure in various sectors as well as as preparing national caters to manage technical and information systems to keep pace with the rapid development witnessed by various fields. He concluded by wishing the conference success in reaching key recommendations to take on challenges posed by the rapid acceleration of digital technology. On behalf of His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder, inaugurated the first Gulf sports exhibition in the kingdom. His Highness announced his candidacy for the presidency of the Bahrain Olympic Committee for the period from 2016 to 2020. His Highness said that his candidacy came after the successes of the sports movement in the kingdom upon the implementation of the committee's strategies of achieving a better future for sports in order to achieve the aspirations of all athletes in the kingdom. 
which comes in accordance with the support and follow-up of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the committee had continued making honorable achievements in the administrative and technical fields and his follow-up of the Sports Federation to achieve the aspired development to the Sports March in the Kingdom. A regional workshop on the role of legislative authorities in combating terrorism organized by the Bahrain Center for Parliamentary Training and Studies in partnership with the BIPD and in the presence of the first deputy speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Al-Aradi and chairman of a board of trustees of the BIPD, Ali bin Mohammed Al-Ramehi, was held today to discuss the topic of countering terrorism in the region. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The fight against terrorism requires parallel action in a regional and international framework to formulate specific policies to combat terrorism. Thus, the regional workshop plays a huge role in strengthening the legislative system to counter terrorism, bringing in a wide participation of representatives of the legislators from the GCC and the Arab states, as well as representatives from the various agencies concerned with terrorism from within and outside the kingdom. We hope to... Uh to be successful with the uh, tourism's uh, protect uh, our country because Bahrain are uh, facing a lot of uh, problems by uh, uh, tourist people and criminal people. That's, uh, we are very, very, uh, very protect by our rules and regulations by uh, Bahrain Parliament and we are supporting all the procedures when is action from the Bahrain government. The workshop tackles a number of topics that shed light on the conceptual framework of terrorism, from its definition to the reasons that it led to it, the main elements and international efforts to eradicate this phenomenon. Today is an important day for us, for the Arab world, and for the whole region, uh, discussing uh, means and ways of fighting terrorism, especially on legislative level. Uh, as you know, this phenomena is a complex phenomena and needs an integrated level, a, a, an approach that takes into consideration all aspects of our life. The regional workshop aims to review the experiences of Arab legislative councils in the fight against terrorism, as well as benefit from all Arab experiences in the field of combating terrorism by reviewing and discussing the prospects of Arab coordination among all authorities. The regional workshop is another stepping stone for the region as it contributes to enhance national and regional efforts to counter terrorism from within the kingdom and the region as a whole. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated today the second international symposium on human resources management in the energy industry. The event is being held in the Kingdom of Bahrain on the 17th and 18th of this month at the Intercontinental Regency Hotel and organized by the General Secretariat of the International Energy Forum, the IEF, in cooperation with the Russian Ministry of Energy and the National Oil and Gas Authority, in support by Tim Keen. This year's symposium is entitled human resources challenges in a changing time in the global energy sector. The oil minister underlined the importance of training and investing in human resources development in order to improve uh, productive efficiency in enterprises, in addition to enabling organizations and companies to fulfill their mission to achieve their objectives. He added that the human element in, uh, the, uh, is uh, the inexhaustible main factor of the production process. He went on to state that the clear vision of the kingdom's leadership is to invest in developing future leaders and improving workforce performance through training and continuous development of management and human resources, which, according to the United Nations annual report on human resources development, greatly contributes to Bahrain's global status as a leading country in this field. 
A discussion session was held by the Shura Council in cooperation with the Arab Parliamentarians Forum on uh, Population, where Shura Council members confirmed achieving developmental and demographic programs in the Kingdom of Bahrain. They pointed out that the Kingdom has made a remarkable development steps in implementing plans and programs that guarantee all citizens a decent life in accordance with plans laid out by the leadership to achieve sustainable development for Bahrain. They also noted that the Kingdom has achieved advanced levels in the sectors of health, housing, education and social welfare, making it a role model among Arab and international countries. President of the Arab Parliamentarians Forum on Population, Hala Abu Ali, stated that population and development issues and their connection with sustainable development are now top priorities of Arab legislative authorities. She noted that such meetings are taking place for the goal of increasing knowledge and sharing experience. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Sir Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa deputized SCW Vice President Dr. Sheikh Maryam bint Hassan Al Khalifa to chair the meeting of the National Committee to follow up the implementation of the National Model for Integrating Women's Needs in the Government's Action Plan. SCW Vice President confirmed the importance of efforts exerted by the government bodies in implementing the National Model, commending the achievements that have been made in this field with the legislative body as well as with the private and civil sectors. She asserted the necessity of reinforcing positive practices within institutional framework commending Bahrain's success in integrating women's needs, which helped in Bahraini women's contribution to the development process. SCW Secretary General Halal Ansari affirmed the Council's constant keen interest to boost governance in public institutions in order for all bodies to implement the national model and the principle of equal opportunities and equity. She expressed the Council's care to work with all partners to support implementing the plan through national policies, legislations and programs. A press conference was held today at Beit al-Tijar discussing the outcomes of the fourth meeting of the Bahraini Egyptian Council headed by Ms. Afnan Al-Zayani, board member of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and engineer Mohammed Al-Suaidi from the Egyptian side. More details with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Coinciding the first Bahraini Egyptian joint exhibition being held in Bahrain, the Bahraini Egyptian Joint Business Council holds a meeting discussing further cooperation to elevate levels of trade and foreign investment to the optimum. Bahrain is the GCC gateway which offers many privileges to foreign investors and Egypt constitutes an attractive business destination being the gateway to the African market with abundant investment opportunities. Our duty to is to make sure that both sides benefit. It has to be a win-win for both. And I think that from what I've seen from talking to different representatives that present from both sides. I think that they are serious and they want to do something with, with, with Egypt. We have to take concrete steps to enhance the cooperation and to establish a relationship that is solid, not only politically but economically. And we need it. This is what we're here for. Our peoples have to cooperate together. I'm so pleased with the fact that we have this exhibition. And this exhibition is full of people, handcrafts, medium-sized businesses and small ones. This is the future. This is how we give opportunities for people to work. Joint investments have been discussed in various sectors such as information and communication technology. Egypt is very strong in Arabization. Bahrainis are here and we can work together and create from Bahrain a hub for uh, programs that serve both in Arabic and English. A number of proposals and great agreements revitalizing tourism were agreed upon. Direct flights, not only for Cairo, but it's going to be for Sharm Sheikh, Gada. Luxor, Aswan, or the northern part of uh, the, uh, Egypt uh, on the Mediterranean side. Th this will support more the, the, the numbers of tourism uh, both ways from uh, Egypt to Bahrain, Bahrain to Egypt. Cooperation was on all levels. Many medical deals for virus C treatments were also reinforced. We will be treating around 400 patients in Bahrain in the comfort of being uh, at their homes, in their jobs, where uh, in the short duration of three months, they would be able to be completely cured. Not only that, Bahrain will be the GCC platform for Tahya Masr concerts by famous singers for mutual tourism and fundraising benefits, taking this collaboration to a whole new level. 
Bahrainian Egypt reaffirmed the strength of this long-term partnership on all levels through great initiatives into tourism, health, ICT, business, arts and many more sectors discussed today by the Joint Business Council. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,309.76 points, marking a decrease of 3.83 points below the previous closing. The decline was due to the fall in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors. And investors traded mainly in the services sector with 59% of total shares. 92 equity transactions included 5,963,046 shares worth 1,239,052 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 